Hello, and welcome to this installment of UVMF One Byte at a Time. My name is Bob Odin, and I'm a UVM Field Specialist with Mentor. This video is an introduction to the UVMF One Byte at a Time video series. During this session, I will be introducing the UVM framework. I will also outline the list of sessions that comprise this video series. At the end of this presentation, you should have a high-level understanding of the UVM framework and what it offers. You should also be familiar with the progression of topics available in this video series. The UVM Framework is an open-source, Apache-licensed verification library. It is the result of 12 years of accumulating best practices from verification using AVM, then OVM, and now UVM. The UVM Framework provides three main features. The UVM Framework provides a code generator for creating UVM-based verification packages. The code generator is used to create interface packages environment packages, and test benches. Use of the UVM Framework Code Generator creates a verification reuse library of packages that can be used across projects, sites, business units, and companies. More information on the UVMF Code Generator can be found in subsequent videos and documentation provided in the UVMF installation. The UVM Framework provides a UVM Jumpstart. It is a system Verilog package of extensions to the UVM base class library. These extensions and the architecture it defines enables teams to avoid common mistakes at all levels. Teams new to UVM tend to make common mistakes related to language constructs and object-oriented programming. Teams with UVM experience tend to make mistakes that limit or prevent reuse from block to top or between simulation and emulation. The UVM framework defines a UVM use model that guarantees reuse. This includes horizontal reuse across projects, vertical reuse from block to top, and platform reuse between simulation and emulation. By providing these features, the UVM framework enables teams to spend significantly less time developing the simulation infrastructure. This enables verification teams to focus on creating prediction models and creating test cases earlier. Creating test cases earlier results in finding bugs earlier. This video series is intended to inform those considering the UVM framework and instruct those starting to use the UVM framework. The video introducing the UVM framework describes its content and features. The environment architecture is described for block and chip level simulations. A typical adoption model and support resources are listed. The video on code generation introduces the concept and benefits of code generation. It provides a basic overview of how to configure the generator script, as well as how the invocation works. It describes why code generation can be such a powerful tool and how to take advantage of it for the purposes of quickly producing a UVMF-based test bench. The video on agent architecture and operation defines what an agent is and what it is responsible for within a simulation. It describes the child components of an agent and its associated components. The video on using the UVMF interface generator describes the constructs and flow used to generate a UVMF-based interface agent. The generated interface is operational. Stimulus data flows from the sequence through the agent to the BFMs. Monitored data is broadcasted from the agent's analysis port. Typically, all that remains is to add protocol-specific signaling activity and protocol-specific sequences. The video on environment architecture and operation defines what an environment is. It describes child components, such as predictors, scoreboards, coverage components, and sub-environments. Block level as well as chip level environments will be described. The video on scoreboards and predictors describes the architecture, responsibilities, and operation of scoreboards and predictors. The scoreboard types provided by UVMF, their features, and how to configure them is described in this video. The video on using the UVMF environment generator describes the constructs and flow used to generate a UVMF-based environment. The generated environment is operational. All specified child components are constructed and connected. Typically, all that remains is to add prediction models to the generated predictor class and cover groups to the generated coverage components and write any environment level sequences. The video on integrating QVIP into UVMF environments describes how to automatically add standard protocols from the Questa VIP library into UVMF-based environments. 
This is done using the QVIP configurator, which generates a UVMF-based environment containing all selected protocol agents configured as selected in the configurator. The video on test bench architecture and operation defines what a test bench consists of within the UVMF paradigm. It describes the various packages and top-level modules that are part of the test bench. The video on using the UVMF test bench generator describes the constructs and flow used to generate a UVMF-based test bench. The generated test bench is operational. A top-level virtual sequence is generated and started, which starts random sequences on each agent within the simulation listed as active. Typically, all that remains is to add the dot to the test bench and start writing top-level virtual sequences that implement randomized and directed test scenarios. The video on instantiating and connecting the DUT describes how to compile the source, instantiate the component, and connect the design to the signals of the interface agent. This procedure is described for Verilog and VHDL designs. The video on adding tests and sequences describes how to extend the generated sequence base to create new top-level sequences to implement stimulus scenarios. It also describes how to extend the test base and specify required overrides within the test. The video on UVMF and emulation describes the test bench and interface agent architecture required to accelerate UVM-based environments. The architecture described is provided by UVMF. All code generated by the UVMF code generators is operational in emulation as well as simulation. The video on running UVMF using VRM describes the test list, configuration file, and switches provided by UVMF for running regressions using Questa's Verification Run Manager. At this point, you should have a general idea of what the UVM framework is. I've outlined the three key features of the UVM framework, UVM Code Generator, UVM Jumpstart, and a UVM Use Model that guarantees reuse. I've also outlined the topics covered in this video series. Topics include methodology instruction, code generator use, and tool use. Please join us in future sessions where we will be going into more detail on the topics listed. Thank you.